money plays <laughs> with friends. I want to create a currency called the Dueler, and it has a little Ferris Bueller head on it. <laughs> Should I get this guy? Bueller's Duelers. Yeah. yeah. I hope Ferris dark Bueller bomb. grows up yeah. and gets killed in a car crash. Watch this dark bum. Yeah. He steals hearts. Steals. Yeah. So wait for your benefit or just. I just yeah. don't- I don't like the, the character Ferris Bueller, and I don't like Matthew Broderick. You know, there is something- like, I don't- I don't hate it, I just don't know how it became some revolutionary classic, and I'm from the 80s. Yeah. Look, all the John Hughes stuff is a revolution. I don't know- I get- I he get Breakfast just, Club. He I, was on fire, I don't know. Yeah. Home Alone. Was that him? Yeah. Yep. Really? He wrote it. Yeah. He did all the Home Alones, in fact. Or at least he- He's yeah, he even did three. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really bizarre to me. I don't know if he necessarily- it's in his filmography, I don't know if he necessarily was the lead writer I think on he it, was. That's another yeah. thing. he was another guy, I think, uh, he just got shit after a while, maybe because he, he had did, kids. He did all the Beethoven movies, too. Did he really? Yeah. What? That is a surprise. There's a scene in Beethoven where he, like, steps, like, and faces away out. from the camera and he lifts his tail. And he's got a huge <laughs> dog asshole. I was gonna say, I know John Hughes at least has a credit with Baby's Day Out. Again, I don't know if he's the scriptwriter or not. Who's the director of that Kevin Spacey movie where he plays a cat? Oh, no. And Nine Christopher Lives. Walken plays the same character from Click? Uh, does he really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He plays like he plays like an Oriental Chinese uh, shopkeeper <laughs> he plays guy. A disoriented Wait, Asian what man. The, what is with Christopher Walken playing like Chinese guys? He he. Well, look, he plays basically the 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 version, the white version of that. Oh, I see. He plays the guy from The Simpsons that says, and it comes with a free frog. Yeah. It comes with a free frog. <laughs> Yeah. Why do you, why you know, I recently watched um I recently watched Goldmember. Yeah, that's on, a great film. Yeah, no, but do you remember the beginning credits when they have all the actors yeah. like Tom Cruise and shit? Yeah. My favorite was Danny DeVito as Mini Me. <laughs> yeah. Cause Kevin Spacey does a really like he does a decent oh. uh uh fucking Doctor Evil, yeah. but then all of a sudden they cut over to Mini Me. He's like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that shit. No, like that screw you, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> He's got an Uzi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I Ooh. totally forgot about that part of Goldmember, but I think that this was, is like one of the best parts. Honestly. Yeah, no, that's that's one of my. Like, I don't. I really. I'm not a big Goldmember fan. I think it's brilliant. But should I get any of this or? Yeah, get it all. What? Get it all. There. Get okay. it all. You told me to. Yeah. So here's the question then. The Book of Belial. So I just sacrificed a couple hearts here. I can only take one of these items with me. Which one should I take? Uh, I have the, the nail. Book. I the have book. the book. Yeah. All right. Book is good. Yes. Belial. I'll lock this long Whenever I round. see the word Belial, I can only think of Deckard Cain saying it. Stupid Deckard. Who's that? He's one of the <laughs> dudes from Diablo, the Diablo franchise. Sorry, man. I refuse to even acknowledge Blizzard as a gaming company. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Is it because they are company partnered with Activision, or did you feel that way before? They are not diverse. There is no Irish characters in any of their games. <laughs> there is no tall six foot two Irish Guys with red noses <laughs> in any of their games. Yeah, it's true. Also, they just didn't want a bunch of dirty mix in that. Whoa! <laughs> That's my name! Whoa! That's my name! It is weird that your name is Mick. Yeah. It's, is that an Asian Mick, though? No. Well, oh. I, technically, I am an Asian Mick, but I am Irish and Chinese. Really? Yeah. So, That's why my beard is red. Your father was you an Irish say man? That you Correct. We were oh. in school in. The UK at some point, and your teacher refused to say your name. Yeah, when I went to school in London, all my teachers would call me Michael, and I was like, "That's my biological father's name who Aww. left me when I was a child." So I prefer if you didn't call me that. <laughs> they were just like, "No, no one is named Mick. Where your name is Michael." Um. Wow. And they all had bad English accents and were really old. Hello, you're, you're my on. little man, Mick. Mick. Yeah. Uh. You say you grew up in London? I didn't know no, that. No, 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 no. I went to school in London for a year. Oh, for one year. Yeah. Ever so briefly. You grew up in, uh, Japan, right? Uh, Ch Taiwan. <laughs> Same thing. Taiwan! Same thing. I grew but up in Taiwan. in Japan. Was that? Yeah, I lived in Japan. I did. I lived in Japan for a year. That's kind of cool. Malaysia for four years. You know what Malaysia really is? Tell me. I want to hear this. A cool this is, way of this saying is... m'lady? Malaysia. And that's why there's that so would much be nice. neck that beards in Malaysia. <laughs> what? There are actually a lot of neck beards there. Wait, what? Really? 
Should I get should I get the big fly? Bot fly, get it. Got it. Oops. Ooh. Controlled friend. Is that what we are to you? Tomar. What? Have you ever like been watching a movie with your wife and you hold her hand and you squeeze just a little too hard and five bot flies come out of each fingernail? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I oh hate my god, that. that just happened the other night. Oh my god. Just it like just some epidemic. <laughs> oh my god. Every time I look in the mirror, there's like a new bot fly in my head. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Finger number two. <laughs> this finger contains arguably the largest bot fly. <laughs> this bot is the fly? largest bot yes. fly infestation on my body. <laughs> it is right between my scrotum and my asshole. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I think he's very likable in some weird way. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah. I don't think he'd be successful otherwise. Sharing is caring. Whatever he does, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. He really does. He knows what he's doing. Gotta hand it to him, you know? Yeah. Though I gotta say, I fucking hate his videos. Fuck you. Just kidding. They're actually great. They're actually hilarious. Um... Do you think he watches them and laughs? I bet- I, I, I guarantee he's you. He's like, lol. I guarantee you, he, he sits editing with a big fat smile on his head. <laughs> He goes, I wonder how many fucking idiots will watch this one and believe it. Do you, do you it. think he re-records lines if they don't sound goofy enough? Yeah, I'm sure the first take is always like, if he's like, number, number one. one. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> number one. Uh, no, number one. Number one. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably's like, hello, uh, testing, testing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, number 27. Have you heard his rap? Yeah, he raps. I got new followers. Woo. Woo. Um, I think we knew somebody that actually worked on the video. Really? Yeah. What video? Uh, he did a rap video for his rap song. Really? Yeah. Wow. You Ooh. get to see his wonderful face. He's not a bad looking guy, honestly. No. no. Uh, which should I get? Everything. Sad bomb? I get everything, alright. Okay. Sad That's bomb. That's the new That's role. the default. Just get, get everything. everything. Even if it's gonna ruin my character, I'm yeah. just gonna get it. Yeah. Alright. Aww. That's the plan. Hey, Mick. Yeah. What is the highest you can throw a four-pound rock into the air? Twelve... Twelve stories high. Twelve height units. Twelve high units. Twelve stones. That's pretty impressive. You know, I want to know how far you could probably throw a baby. What do you think the furthest a human can throw a baby is? You mean the guy who, like, bench pressed? Who is the pressed? record? Who is the rec- the world record for baby throwing? Um, probably some guy in, like, India somewhere. Do you think there's a place where they- you know, like, they always have, like, weird hobbies in some places, or weird sports? Uh... Um, like, in Japan, they have screaming contests, where they just yell as loud as they can. I'm sure it, the record for, like, longest baby, like, oh. throw would be in, like, a Mayan country where they throw things yeah, off of well, high no. places. So, honestly, did, did you see the country? thing- <laughs> No, in India, yeah. there's that thing where they throw- they sometimes throw the baby out the window. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. I'm not making that up. Yeah, it's Somebody Google, uh, Indians throwing babies out windows. But <laughs> actually, that would probably be a bad thing to look up. Then look up, baby holds firecracker for one second too long. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta yeah, be that. Is that another kitty thing? It's yeah. Guppy's head. Oh, the goop stuff. Should I keep the head or should I get the book? Get the head. Okie doke. We want you to become Guppy. Yep. Or the guppy. Whatever. Well, I can drop it and still become guppy. I just oh, have to I grab see. it. So, which picture this time? White people or black white, people? White. I want to see the whites for fucking once. Okay. The Be finally represented. I'm so sick of the whites not getting represented in modern. You media. may not know this. Those were that was an Irish family. Really? Yeah. Killed by Matthew Broderick. <laughs> in his car in that movie. What is even the plot of Fu Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh my God. He st he's he like, has a day off. Yeah, he has and a day he off. fakes he, being sick. He fakes being sick, he convinces the oh, IRL media through the movie that his principal's a pedophile. <laughs> the plan goes right, and then he kills a family in Northern Ireland on holiday. Oh yeah, I heard about that! Was that real? Yeah. How is he not in jail if everybody knows this is a fact? Oh wait, are you talking about Matthew Broderick in actually? In real life! <laughs> okay. Yes! 
I heard okay, about I this. Heard what, what, I no, I really that. did hear about what, that. What I hate about the story is that um, the guy forgave him. The guy's fat, like whose like wife and children because they're killed. religious and they're like Jesus would want us to he forgive. Literally, yeah. He wanted closure. He said, "I want to forgive him. I want to meet up with him." Matthew Broderick said, "Yeah, yeah okay, okay, let's do it." And then the guy was like, "Well, are we going to meet up?" And then Matthew Broderick never responded again. Oh, dick! So he's just a fucking piece a of shit. Yeah, Ma Matthew brought dick. That is mean. Maybe his lawyer was like, no, it's a trap. Oh, Don't yeah. Go. It's possible, but still Irish a piece of shit. Irish people are pretty, uh, sneaky. <laughs> I'm not that sneaky. They're a sneaky race. <laughs> I don't blame him actually. Now that you now that you mentioned Honestly, it. Honestly, now that you say it, yeah, yeah like maybe a maybe a Holocaust Jeez. is in order. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that that escalated. I'm not even kidding. If the Irish got Holocausted, oh, most of them me. would just accept it. Like that's what Irish people are like. They're just like, this is just life now, yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I feel like Irish people are good at accepting their lot. Irish people are And making good making good literature about Irish it. people live in the now and they're not very like Let's improve everything. They're just like, well, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at those. They're f they're twinsies. Now they're dead. I feel like there's one of those inside of me right now. <laughs> I feel like there is too. One just of those screaming to get out. Yeah. Get everything. Your feet feel stronger. I Tomar, can walk on spikes now. Did you know, Tomer, you can inject cooking oil into your body to make yourself look cooler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> we should do. You should do a video of it. Post it on Twitter. I will. You should do a live stream of it though, I'm so we can see your live reaction. While I do it, I'm not edited. Be, I'm gonna be chugging like crisp, crisper <laughs> juice. <laughs> grow, oh. grow wings. Or, or grow some the, gills. How did the crisper thing work? Do you have to inject it? <laughs> you just, you just Don't drink it. it. You just drink it. I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna drink crisper juice. Yeah. It's gonna be the kind that gives me wings. <laughs> I had a friend when I was younger that would yeah, walk Christopher into- Crisper juice gives you wings! He would walk into, uh, oh, Irish chippers, because he was poor. What? And What's a chipper? Like a, like a wood fish chipper? And, no, a fish and chips. Oh, uh, okay. a chippery. A uh, fish chippery. Yeah, so he'd walk in and go, can I have a bag of batter? Because they, they would just have bags of batter, like, they, they would scrape the oven of the batter to get rid of it, and then they would just put it into little bags, and he would just go in and ask for them and just eat batter. For free. Well, to be fair, when I was a kid, that's pretty much my favorite part of like anything, like fried chicken. No, when I was a kid, great, I would just eat the outside, the skin. I just leave the you meat. You know, to eat like connect to the skin this is, is good, but batter on its own I was is. I gonna say this is uncooked batter, is it? Or, or it is the crispy pieces. Of it's the only the crispy pieces. Oh, I see. That's not that bad. It's fucking terrible. What are I you talking you were about? Describing like bags of raw batter. No, I'm <laughs> talking. You. He would go in and eat massive bags of it. It's like the worst possible thing you could put in your body. Except for, well, except, for, except for crocodile, except for nothing, and crocodile. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't eat, you die. <laughs> Do you say that's that cool riddle that's like, what is more powerful than God, more evil than the devil? If food, uh, better. And if you eat it, you die. <laughs> and the answer is nothing. Ah, <laughs> nothing's more powerful than God. That's so fucked up. I know, right? It's 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 already yeah. Got, that's like, a little all this, propaganda. It's there. got all this religious <laughs> subtext to it. But, you know, uh, uh, that's kind of mean. It's kind of mean. All right. You're offending the God-fearing members of society. Do you want to see something right cool? Now? Do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Watch this. Are you floating? Ooh. You are such a little. Troll. Did you see that? Yeah. I, I walked right through it. No, I'm floating. I'm you're not, he's you're not, not. No, he's just. Very, he's very precise. Yes, you can. You can go between the cracks of these. There you go. Yeah, you're skilled. I like you. There we go. I like to cut off your jib. How about a job? I'm not <laughs> I wish I talked like that. I, I wish do. we all talked like that. Yeah. Instead, I talk like a fucking. I'm like half drunk. Do you think all the time. anyone really talked like that outside? I heard. Of media? I heard that no. In the olden days, even though we're led to believe that they all had like lightning fast wit and all that shit, no. That apparently people they talked like normal fucking people. They were like, "You fucking suck, dude." They, no. they they definitely talked like normal people. That's the transatlantic accent. Yes, that's so only rich people talk like that. Oh no! Did you know they, the transatlantic accent is one in hundred percent made up. Yeah, and it was yeah. created just so rich people could learn to do it to distinguish themselves from everyone else. That's yeah, you know what? Just weird. like why there's eighteen spoons and I heard twelve that's forks. That's true about the London accent too, though. Like. Or, or all the like more posh British accents. That like, makes sense. People go to school to like sound more posh. Just to just to be different. Just to distinguish. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I agree. 
That was the same thing with any- a lot of manners are about that. It's about distinguishing class, so like, the reason why there's like a salad fork and a- and a soup spoon and like all this kind of shit, yeah. it was to be able to tell who was it's like-, like a litmus test Yeah, exactly. How, how fancy it's like, oh, look are. at that- look at that Neanderthal using their fucking feet to eat. <laughs> What would you call, uh, John Cleese's British accent? Is that just the typical British accent, or is he I from- I'm not an expert on that, so I have to grab everything, don't I? Fuck. He's All got right, a great, go. great old accent. Scary. Oh, man, you had to give up oh, two hearts. Oh, I can fly! Well, you can I... fly, you can fly, you <laughs> But I got no more white I need some red hearts. I need some red hearts, otherwise I'm gonna die. Tomar? Yeah, buddy. What would you do if you were watching Bob Ross, and at the start of the episode, in less than one second, he like whipped out his dick and like <laughs> pissed out a paintbrush? Oh no! <laughs> like, like Wait, really did it just shoot out? He just like or did was it, it slow, like you could see the head of it popping out, it's and like then he had to pull out. It's I'd panic. Skillful. I'd panic. I would call the estate of Bob <laughs> Ross, and I'd say, "I think you guys, I have something you guys really need to see." That's like the Mandela effect, though. What if, what if you went back and watched old Bob Ross, and apparently every episode started like that? You yeah. just totally forgot. Uh, Tomar. Every episode starts with him whipping his dick yeah. out, and then his editor, like, draws, like, paintings popping out of the hole, like, like squeezing their way out. <laughs> Tomar, what would you do if, uh, if it just show Tom, or Bob Ross's face up close, and then the camera panned out, and the top of his hair was his own pubes, and he had a little face <laughs> a where his dick is. I wrote once. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sweet creepypasta. Oh, look, diagonal pixels. Fuck you, fuck you, ha, fuck you, everyone, day. everyone <laughs> harass the creator, fuck you. Don't do that. Oh god. Oh, look at that. I am very impressed by this game though, Mick. I think it's cool. I you know, we still haven't seen any of like the totally psycho builds. Right now you're just seeing me run like, basically, but... We'll see, we'll see. Making a procedural game is one of the fucking hardest things you can do. One that's super fun, too. Yeah. I was gonna say, making it fun's hard. Like, there's plenty of, like, really bland procedural games. That's what I'm saying, like, but yeah. procedural means they're not designed, so, like, you're gonna lose a lot of fun, but... Well, I guess when they're contained there are rooms, rules that they have, you know. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, a lot of people choose procedural because it's technically less work than... Well, Fuck it can you. be less work than hand-designing everything that? if you want a really big game, Yeah. But, but obviously, just, you still like it's not truly random, so you still are God, basically designing fuck. everything, just yeah. designing it in a way that's like modular. All I'm saying is it's cool. I like it. Maybe, I like maybe it. someday. I like it a lot. Someday I'll make a game as cool as this. Chris, you are as cool as puberty. this. Puberty. You. Here. Chris, have you been there talking you about puberty. the game you're making? Yeah, yeah tell us about right? your game. Tell us about the game. Well, it's pretty cool. You can insert a coin and play it for five dollars. <laughs> no, a five dollar coin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, you have to go to the bank and ask for the premium only, only, only five dollar coin. <laughs> just got your face on it. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, I'll be serious. It's a, uh, it's, it's gonna be a, a kind of a 2D platformer, and it's, it's gonna be all about momentum. And, uh, I don't want to give away too much, so I'll So just... you gotta go fast. Yeah, it's all about high speed. It's all about, uh, you know, do like, ju ja jumping and... It's fast, it's furious. It's- it's a platformer. It's, it's a gonna, platformer. It's gonna be very speed and momentum based. What and if you go slow? What happens if you go slow? You can go slow, but you-, you I'm gonna have a lot of, uh, things that you can do to you make- Make your own challenges. You should do it like that movie Speed, where if you go slow, you, you're like a shark. You have to keep moving, otherwise you die. <laughs> it's honestly- I'm trying to make it so, like, anyone can play it, but, uh, it's gonna have a high skill ceiling, and it's pretty much for speedrunners as well. That's gonna be fun. I don't want to give away anything about it. It's, we're gonna have a trailer, hopefully, in March, and then you'll find out. Have you guys ever watched any of those Mario speedrun- Yeah. Mario? Like, analysis things? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mario 64 nuts. is so fun to watch people speedrun. I, I like, I I had recently seen one of those things where they talk about like the what is it like 455 is like the currently considered the limit to beating Mario one. Yeah, they wow. they keep people are still playing that game and finding like weird little exploits like, where you can every, like jump through blocks. Like and literally shit. all that stuff comes down to like frames like. 
because of the way Mar Mar apparently Mario runs at 60 frames per second, like from a logic point. Yeah. But they, but but it only like registers certain things every 12 frames. Like. Wow. Like. So wow. no, it's 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 like really specific stuff like these glitches that people use like with the flagpole mm. uh, Where if you like kind of uh, Like land on like this like one or two pixel yeah. point yeah. on the edge of the flagpole It'll skip the whole like flag coming down animation. The animation yeah, the the amount of time cuz like yeah There's some kind of weird time frame that everything happens on yeah. Oh one more thing I'll say about the game uh I'm gonna make sure everything I've ever in my life bitched about will not be in the game. So this isn't like uh, one of those reviewers who shit on movies and then make their own, and it's like the worst fucking movie ever. I don't think so. I think everyone I've shown it to has said it. They it looks cool. That's because we're afraid of you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're afraid of your Godfather-like powers. Yeah, I, did, I showed it to one of my good friends, Tony. Who was on Newgrounds? It sounds fake. As the EX Tony. Yeah, oh, this is our this Tony. This is just supporting the idea that you're a mafioso. Tony. No, hey, you know what? That's true. It does yeah, sound I like... talked to Tony. I showed Tony in the game. He said, "Yeah, you guys the game know Tony. Good. He's the EXP. He made Indestructo Tank, oh, okay. and he made all those viral fucking games back Whoa, in the day. Yeah, that's a good game. And he Boy, gave I'm me pointers. Just... And I never would have thought of him as mafia. <laughs> He's not. He's <laughs> the crazy. most lovely guy. Sure, sure, sure. But um, one more thing is, it's an adventure game. And, uh, uh, there's gonna be no interruptions in the game. It's gonna, it's like... Can you tell us about the story? No. Oh, okay. That'll come out later. It's <laughs> gonna Aww. be a secret. I don't want to give away too much. I just want to let... It's gonna be an adventure 2D platformer with lots of momentum, and... It's gonna have no interruptions. Anything that could be considered story, you can skip it with the press of a button. Nice. And I, I don't, I do not want a single goddamn in interruption in that whole game. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna have an intro though, right? Yeah, like, no, that's... it'll have a story, but it'll be like Devil May Cry, where you push start, you skip it. If you don't want to listen to it. Also, you, there will be a log system, like a little notebook, where you can see what the story is, what's happened, you know? That kind of shit. So yeah. you want the story, you just don't want to force it on people. I, yeah. I can appreciate that. It's not, it's not supposed to be a deep story anyway, yeah. it's pretty self-explained. It's just a, it's gonna be mostly about being fun to control. Oh fuck me! Ah, he's cute. I like how he bobs, you know. Oh, ooh! Like so we that. got the uh, the white people photo, right? Uh huh. So that yes. means we got to go to heaven. Go to heaven, man. Oh yeah, pixelated. What if you'd gone down? Uh, that means whatever happened. I don't get to go to the <laughs> secret extra thing after this. Oh, it would have just ended the game. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I would have one more level and oh, then you I'd have be one, done. But okay, I, see. I like yeah. these backgrounds. Now I got two more. You're in church. Hey, Mick, you've got a deep voice, right? Uh, give me a bass like. Okay, keep doing that. That's a cool church song. That makes, yeah, it made me feel like I was in the synagogue. Vishamru. Vishamru? Hey, yeah, sing, sing, us a good old, sing us a good old Jewish church song. I'll give Tomar. you the backing track. <laughs> <laughs> no, too much pressure. I, I, you guys can both sing pretty well. I, I can't what? so much. Do you have to sing church songs? Do you have church songs and stuff? Yeah, no, in synagogue, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're almost they almost all have tunes to them. So, give us a give us a little show. Vishamru I am a Jew. Why don't you look inside my shoes? <laughs> Is that Russia? <laughs> yes. There you. Russian Jews. That's a thing. That, 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 that's a, yeah. That one song. Yeah. That's totally like an old Russian folk tune. Aww. Hey, is, what, what, what's, uh, where's the filler on the roof from? Uh, like, what country is he from? He's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be in Russia. Yeah, it's, right? It's called Anatevka, which sounds yeah, Russian. Yeah, that's really a Russian, He's from, dude. uh, the country That's Fiddly. about as Russian as it gets. He's from Fiddly. <laughs> See, she laughed. Fuck you guys. 
Oh, Y'all like that song in Monty Python that goes, Miele su domine bonareris requiem. That's a pretty funny song, dude. <laughs> 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 Uh, Why is that movie so goddamn funny? Um, because... Did you know that? That movie was funded by Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd... Lies. And a bunch- No, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That is true. And they, they did it as a tax write-off. Because no other studio would pick him up. That's cool. Yeah. I dig that. That's, I got- I got respect for that. It was four bands, I forget the other two. I got was that mad the, was that respect. the first time they made a feature, the Monty Python guys? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, actually, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? So Life of Brian have, seems like it had a lot more production. I have no idea what order their movies came out in. <sighs> what I love about uh, the Holy Grail is like the surroundings they're in look really dirty and like fucked up, and it just suits the time period, and it, it yeah. actually feels authentic. I am bad. No, it kind of, it really does. Yeah, like I've never seen a movie like that. Like, and it's supposed to be funny too. Like, you, you never see an actual big budget film with such dirty, disgusting like backgrounds that suit the time. I was gonna say, I think of like a Knight's Tale where like, like everyone, like the dude has like frosted hair and like. Yeah, it looks like a set. Yeah. I love that film though. It's a fun film, but yeah. Like, like everybody in the stands fucking doing We Will Rock You or whatever. <laughs> I, I, that's a great film. I love yeah. that film. The part where he walks in and his dad like sees him for the first time almost made me cry. Aww. But, um. Did it remind you of your life? Not really. My dad not like that dad. But there's a part in Monty Python and the Holy Grail right at the start where they're walking through a village of like pretty much mud and there's just people rolling around it. It's the funniest shit. It's like the funniest visual. Just a bunch of peasants just like not a they're not able to stand. They're just rolling around in filth and dying. I think uh I think you know what, Mick? Yeah. We had potential to be like Monty Python with Sleepy Cabin and we all squandered it. Oh boy, too real, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Close that hit me right then. Ooh. And it's all your fault. Oh man, my toes all, are numb. It's all because Mick couldn't hold things together. Wow. That's such a that's way a, to <laughs> way to fucking push that narrative. That's bullshit. It was because we were, we were all busy cry. and know, couldn't commit to anything. I'm gonna fucking cry. You said grab everything. So yeah. I'm grabbing everything. Mick, you were honestly the only thing holding it all together. Oh thanks. And I failed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still do, uh, by the way, uh, are, are you down with just doing a couple more episodes? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I know, uh, I know it's kind of like dragging a fucking, it's like not even kicking a dead horse, it's like digging it is up it, out of the is, ground. I still saw that in your list of things you do on your downtime is working on that trivia game. Yep. Yep, so there's gonna be a trivia game to give away the merch, because we got all this merch that the patrons fucking funded, and it's just sitting around, and I don't want to sell it, because then we gotta deal with taxes and shit. Yeah. So I just wanted to use that to, to just give it away. See, he cares. We all care. I don't. <laughs> no way. Is this like a boss rush? No, this is just a mini boss. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This is good commentary, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Featuring video game commentary. It is loaded up. This is the worst AMSR. Did you know that? ASMR? A a ASMR, a yeah. A ASMR. Did you know that, like, 99% of history is fake? Yeah. You know, like, how people say, like, fake ships news. sailed over the ocean back in the day and they were made of wood? Yeah. That's such complete horseshit. What do you mean? Because water would just come in through the, through the cracks. No, it's that's not ridiculous. true. ridiculous. I think... I think the wood on their ships was treated in some way, but... Yeah, okay, Alex Jones, whatever, dude. <laughs> no, they had... There's really advanced methods of, of, like, manual woodworking where you can, like, water seal wood stuff, like, without you having, like, a modern type of, like, Yeah, okay, sealing. Jesse Ventura, okay, dude. <laughs> No! I, what is this, boat what, gate? What, what the hell do you think those ships were otherwise made of? Look, Tomar, they swam! I'm joking! Everybody <laughs> swam back in the day. Tomar. It does suck, though. You know back in the day when they had, like, witch hunts? Like, legit witch hunts? They had to use dinghies to catch the witches. And they, <laughs> they had little boats. They had little one-paddle boats. But it just sucks because no. one of the tests to prove whether you were a witch or not was whether you could like they'd throw you in water And if you could swim you were a witch and if you drowned it's like oh, I guess they were human. Oh good job Yeah, I remember that one that fucking sucks and they made him hold firecrackers one second too long 
That'd be scary. I always wanted to see what would happen if you stretched oh, your nuts God, over a firecracker and just let it. Oh God, get me out of this fucking room, please. What is the Sega Genesis? Nope, can't get out. Fuck me. Omar. Omar. What? What'd I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being a gaslighter. <laughs> I pull, I'm very gullible. Oh, I fucking hate this. You know what they say, Tomar. Nice guys finish last. Ah, fuck. Yeah, they do say oh, that. Oh shit, I'm back. But maybe they're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Because you're doing pretty good. Oh god. I've seen your bank account. I didn't see that happening. Whoops. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I hacked your bank account. Uh, I was killed by this thing in some cold place. A mummy, mummy boy. Whoa! You died? I died. I'm sorry, man. Dear diary, today I died. Well, that was how like... the fuck did I write this if I'm fucking dead? <laughs> <laughs> did you? That was the last level, wasn't it? What Whoa. does the code mean? That's what I want to know. Uh, that's your seed. Oh, so, so that oh, that's the so if so you if want I want to redo this you run, redo the exact same yeah. thing. Oh, that would let you do it. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes if you have a really fun build, like oh. you, like game breakingly funny, like you're just shooting out, like the whole screen just is just share, full of exploding shit. Yeah, you share the seed. Yeah, and they can get the same items, and they can have that yeah. awesome experience. You know how like Minecraft, experience. Minecraft had that 404 challenge where you type in 404 into the seed, and you go down the hole right where you start. Does this game they have any the, famous they had the, seeds? For the chalice dungeons, right? Yeah. It's similar. Yeah. Yeah. But is wait, there, what is this Minecraft thing? Is this this yeah. creepy pasta? No, there was a, a famous Minecraft seed that you could type in that was just yeah. 404, and it would start you next to a big hole, okay. and, and it was like supposedly the back in the day, it was like the scariest hole ever, full of enemies and scary shit. But, um, I was wondering if this game had anything similar where it's like a famous seed that someone discovered that was just insane. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's something like that. But there are things you can do, like there's cheats that you can turn on and off. Yeah. Using the seed system, I think. I think it's through that. But yeah. you can like make any- you can do it so like all of your items disappear immediately and- mm. And, uh, just make it dumb and hard. I feel ya. Well- Yeah. Like my dick. Dumb let's, and hard, let's, baby. Let's end this here. Uh, Isaac! Isaac is a cool game. Mice, mice Pirate Mick, everybody. <laughs> mice Pirate Mick. <laughs> okay. Oh! Everyone, uh, please go to the bathroom and turn off your water taps. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You're... fucking... <laughs> fucking... What? Snakes. <laughs> I love you.